So I'm going to do a loner here because uh, Seth looks like he's very, very busy right now. So I'm just going to check some of these knives out. This is really a beautiful knife. Uh, now I just need to find out what it's called. But this, that just really hit me as far as design goes. So I'm going to check it out. And it is, oh, well, the subjugator. Okay, never mind. Yes. That is way cool. I love that knife. That is interesting. This is nice, too. On both sides. And, oh, Sakshi, yeah. I got great taste. This is one I've already reviewed as well. But, I mean, you know, they're just great-looking designs. Including this one, too. And, of course, yeah, Quixotic. Or Quixotic, I think, is how it actually goes. Yes, and I really like this one, too. This has always been... that That's a great-looking design right there, the Snick. And they have a, a Sabi, or they have a Sen cut model that looks a lot like this. So talk about a lot less money. But this is so light. But I love the blade shape on it. And let's move around here. Uh, okay. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. You want to talk to me about these? Yeah, talk to you about whatever you want to talk about. Let's talk about knives. How's it going, Lee? I'm going, yeah. I was just doing it on my own because I know you're busy. Man, it's crazy. We got like, we have twice the staff that we had last year, and I feel like we're twice as busy. Wow. Like, it's crazy. So tell me about this. I don't think I've seen this one. Is this brand new? It is brand new. Uh, that's the, it's called the Shudan. Um, this one it's a uh, Raphael. And I I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Bzerky. Okay. Bzerski. Bzerski. Something like that. I'll let you slaughter it. Uh, yeah. I'll slaughter it. Very kind of you. Um, really cool design. Feels really good in the hand. Um, some of the things that I kind of noticed about this one. Um, I love the like modified clip point style blade on here. Yeah. Um, it's just really pretty. You get some really cool milling lines, some fine milling in the titanium frame there. Um, again, uh, milled titanium pocket clip is really nice. And this one just fits your hand. It's a full four finger grip. Feels really good. Nice big usable blade. Um, really cool design. That's so. a good, good size knife too. It is, um, and this is brand new. It'll be available. It'll be coming out within the next 60 days or so, I believe. Okay. That's that one. What else do you want to see? Uh, how about this one right here? It's like the... All right, the Primoris. This has been out for a little while. We released this one last year. Uh, 20 CV blade still, titanium frame lock. A um, couple of grooves in the handle to, to uh, lock your hand in there couple of speed lines for 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 speed <laughs> but uh um one of the few we've re released a few kind of right in a row that are all very similar we've got the primoris we've got uh the beacon the subjugator the um speedster and they're all kind of following the same styling um that's been selling really really well for us just very very uh handy um Styles are nice. Anyway, good size, very, very usable. So has the Speedster been out for a while? Because I don't remember. No. I, okay. This just barely came out. This one's a little bit different. It's got uh, a fuller in the blade there. So you can middle finger flick this. Um, you've got the flipper tab. Uh, you've got that cool milling on the ed edges of the handle there, kind of like that Shudan that we looked at. But this guy's this guy's cool. I like the lines on it. Yeah, I do too. I like the design. It's real yeah. clean. It's almost like a Laconico looking yeah. design. Isn't yeah, yeah, it? it is. Good. Yep. And when you look at it closed, it's got it's got a little bit of that kind of style to yeah, it. it. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, that's a, that's a good uh, good observation there. 
Left-handed middle the finger. Just next over. That, that's the arsenal? No, I mean just past. There you go. That one right there. This is a brand new one. This is the first button lock in the Wii line. And it's available right now. So this guy is a thumb stud button lock. I gotta switch hands because I can't open an eye yeah, with my left hand. Oh, here we, let's do that. Let's get all mic'd up here properly. Ah, oh, that's better. So this is this is my favorite configuration for a knife personally. Uh, thumb stud with a button lock. Um, flipper tab, I'll take it or leave it personally. But but uh, your thumb stud button lock is just money. Right, and yes, the flipper tab works and it works awesome on this. But again, we've got a titanium frame with 20 CV blades still. It's called the Kulex, um, which is a type of a mosquito. You can, oh. can kind of get that mosquito vibe with this. Why does that this. look a little bit ferrum forge ish? Uh, I don't know, but I can show you the ferrum forge ish one. Yeah, and you've There's got that, the mini, the uh, mini malice, yeah, yeah, the yeah, mini yeah. Malice. okay, but that. Who's the designer on that? Is this that is Joe? an in-house design. In yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. yep. Well, so that's nice. It's fantastic. It's got a deep carry uh, bent pocket clip, and um, yeah, just fantastic knife. That'd be nice Love it. in the Sabibi line as well. We have we have items that are very similar, actually, kind of on both sides. There's the Altus, that's a button uh, uh, thumb stud button lock. It's just a little bit smaller. And that's one of my favorite favorite knives yeah, in the that, CVV line. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Love that but one. That, that's neat. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. Well, that's interesting. And then, yes, the mini. All right. I'm going to reach. Stay there, Lee. Okay. <laughs> All right. No you're problem. good, man. You're good. This is the mini malice you're talking yes, about, the Ferrum yes. Forge design. And, yes, this is an actual... Ferrum Forge design. Um, it's kind of in between the original Malice that we did and the Odium that we did in the Civivi line as far as size goes. Uh, but uh, button lock flipper with wow. a great middle finger flick with that fuller cut out there. Um, this has been a real hit at the show here. People are really liking yeah, it. I like that. Yeah, I ran into one of the guys yesterday, bought one. So yeah. And he was showing it off. I go, oh wow, that's out now and it's a button lock. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. This one. This one comes out at the end of the month. Okay. So depending on when you put your video up, this this may or may not be available just yet from dealers. But uh, by the end of June, it'll be available. Okay. Is there anything else you want to throw in uh, on me that is uh, yeah. fairly new? I sure do. Okay. I'm going to give you this back so we can walk around. Go to the glass case. Okay. All right. Okay, so these are like either prototypes or limited production? Prototypes. Uh, the, the bottom row is current production, just knives that I don't want to leave out on because they're, you know, are expensive stuff. Yeah. Uh, this guy right here, this is an Ostop Hell Design prototype. I'm not sure when this is going to be out, but it's a nice front flipper um, with kind of a modified bolster lock. Um, Right there in the frame. Okay, I see that. Yeah, so you've got that inlay over the frame, kind of hiding that. And I love that. I love it when we do inlays over the locks so that my fingers don't pinch that lock onto the blade. Um, but it's a great front flip design. So it's a front flipper, which Ostep yeah. does a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. And, and so these other two are the same one, right? Yep. Just a uh, just different flavors. I like I like the design. Yeah, people I think have it really looks good. people have really liked this. Yeah, it's a good one. I think that'll be good. Yeah, it feels it feels really good in the hand too. So, do it's, you have a release date on that? A production date? Yeah. This one I don't. It's called the Baloo. Um, so I've got a name for it. It's going to be around three hundred dollars, but I don't have a date for it yet. Okay. All right. This little guy is called the Starling. Starhawk. Sorry, I've got all these brand new knives that I just saw yesterday for the first time. Wow. Okay. <laughs> nice little guy. Nice little flipper. Yeah. Interesting uh, how this kind of a ramp drops down. 
Yeah. And that seems reminiscent of something, but I, I'm not thinking what it is. Is it the Gava? Is it the Gava? The Wii Gava that you're thinking about? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of that. It's a similar size. It's actually got quite different lines to it, but it kind of reminds me of that. I really like the, the swedge on the tip there. Uh -huh. I think it. I think it just gives it a really cool look on this little blade. Almost like a modified sheep's foot. Maybe? Yeah, yeah. But again, and a typical. We've got that. We've got that same kind of milling on the sides, the edges of the handle there. Um, the uh, hardware that's bronze just kind of stands off from the titanium there. I, I like this look. Cool. All right, so that's that guy. We've got a new version of the Banter coming out. It's a um, Micarta version. So, uh -huh. <laughs> same, same. It is the Banter in Micarta? In Micarta. Okay. We love it. We've got a drop, synergy. drop point version of the Synergy Two. Oh. This is the Synergy Two V Two. Okay. A couple of things changing on it. We've got a different milling pattern in the um, titanium. It radiates out from the pivot all the way through the knife. Oh, wow. Okay. And we've got a version, this version, it's got a new um, carbon fiber pattern as well, which I think is one of the best looking carbon fibers we've done. And then there's a full titanium version where you get that, that milling that uh, goes all the way throughout. That's really nice. It's it a great, great with texture. The blade shape change. Yeah. Without the trailing point type. Right, all of the synergies previously have had that Persian style trailing point thing, um, and this has a, a traditional drop point on it. Yeah, I, I mean, I remember talking to Jim about, I mean, this is Jim Oyam yes. design, and talking to him about that uh, at the Texas. Yeah, show. yeah, he's pretty excited about this one. Yes. And it's, it's a, it's a uh, fantastic it's design. Nice. And of course, it's integral, but it's a yes. beautiful line. And I like this play shape pattern. Yeah, I do I too do. personally. The the Persian the Persian blades don't speak to me as much as this one does. So I think yeah. it's a great great improvement for the V2. Personally. I like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I like it. That is so weird. Is that the Senex? This is the Senex uh, collaboration. It's called the Vision R. We showed this at Blade Texas. We had about twelve of them here, and they sold out Friday morning, like first thing. As soon you know, as soon as people realized that we had them here they, they started disappearing pretty quick um, and this has got that uh, lock on the spine where you pull back to release the blade you can actually see through that hole right there you can see that disengage oh, yeah. from the okay. blade yeah. and it's got that pocket clip that comes back up over the spine so everything is just streamlined nice and flat feels really good in the hand. It's an interesting, really cool. good design. Yeah. 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 I would say this one has gotten the most um, excitement of the, the new designs and the new prototypes here at the show. I understand why. Ooh, that's nice. Right? This is one of my favorites. <laughs> Primarily based on this carbon fiber with the copper lines in it. I think this is one of the most beautiful handles that we have done. I like that material. Yeah. Wow, I'm yeah. glad to know that We Knives has material like that. Yeah. For inlays. But yes, that's an interesting knife, and it's not terribly small either. Right, it's a it's a good sized knife. You can get four fingers on this pretty easy. But it's really got a nice design flow to it. I mean, it's really a simple, but really elegant. Yeah, with that bolster, the bolster on it makes it gives it that gentlemanly kind of feel, along with the the color and the, you know and the titanium carbon fiber. Looking. But uh, again, a bolster lock, which again I really really like. Um, yeah, it's really nice knife. Wow, it's that called is... the called the soothsayer. Soothsayer, mm -hmm. really? Okay. Yeah, two hundred fifty five dollar map price. Is that in house? In house design. Yes. yes. Yes, I have wow. to I like double check, but yes, it is. Wow. Good. Good one. Another hit. Good. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to get into some innovative stuff. This guy right here is, uh, is your standard thumb stud titanium uh, fr frame lock, 
with a 20 CV blade still, but we've added in a combination lock onto the back there, which gives you the ability to, you guys should see the face that Lee's giving me right now. Oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> gives you the ability to lock your knife shut so that it can't be opened without the combination. Because why not? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, it's a unique, really fun design. Um, you know, practical purposes, you can figure them out for yourself. You can, uh, you know, you can set this knife out locked um, in a place where you've got toddlers and you don't have to worry about them opening it up and cutting themselves if that were an issue. You know, you could throw it in a bag uh, that's going to get uh, tossed around and it's never going to come open in that bag. You know, so, um, and you could also hand it to your buddy and when he asks you for a knife and watch him, watch him struggle with it. So will you be able to set your own code? I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, this is an early prototype, and I don't have all the answers to it yet. That is just, that's pretty, that's pretty trick. I mean, that's, <laughs> let's say trick. Because yeah, trick can either sure. be good or bad. And we'll let people make up their own mind. It's been, it's definitely brought some some interest, you know, and, and so. comments on b both directions. Like, you know, people saying, like, why in the world would you ever? And, you know, other people saying, well, why not? And other people saying, like, but, yeah, it's really cool. I'm kind of of the opinion of, of if you have a use for it, great. If not, why not? We make so many designs, and, and why not do something that hasn't been done before ever in the industry? Yes. yes. <laughs> that, that's crazy. I like the overall design, though, as well. Yes. It does it have just, a very interesting aesthetic. Yeah. yeah. And I think I said, I think I said uh, frame lock, but it's actually not a frame lock. We, um, you look at both sides, they're both... Um, very very sleek. It's got a liner, um, a nested liner on one side, so it's a liner lock. Yeah. There you go. Which I like because it's a yeah. real clean look. Yes, exactly. I I, lo I love that, that it doesn't have that frame on the other side. Oh, and then there's the one with it's not black, it's just silver. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you another one that's going to blow your mind. All right, you can see we got some interesting stuff going on here. This is called the Typhus. And this converts to a push dagger. Oh my, I was gonna go, how the hell do you close that thing? <laughs> you don't. You don't. You don't. This will come with a sheath. We don't know what that sheath's gonna be like yet. It'll be a Kydex something, but uh, my assumption is that it will hold the knife in the push dagger position. And, I get, and this is an assumption because I haven't been told any of this yet. Um, if you draw that as a defense tool, you have your push dagger, right? But how many times a day do you use your knife that's when, not as a defense tool, right? But you don't want to use a, a knife like this, so you just pop it up and use it like a regular pocket knife. I mean, how ultra cool is that? Right, right. Very, very... There, you can see obvious use cases where this is knife is going gonna, is gonna to come in handy. But it does not really lock cool. in place. Currently, it does not. I don't know what the final production knife will do. Now, I can see both, like, I like it as it is um, because it very, very easily goes um, to both positions, right? Yeah. Um, and using it as a push dagger, I don't need a lock. But they like, could have a button, like it, a button lock mechanism. It could. You push the button to, to, to open and, it. And the button, yeah. and it will lock in position either way. It could. It could potentially, yeah. Um, the question is, does it need it? Because I wouldn't put it on there if it doesn't need it. Yeah. So, you know, and as I look at it and think about it, again, early prototype phase, in a push dagger grip, I don't think it needs a lock. It's not going to move on me. Um, in the um, pocket knife position, yeah. there's, a, there's a little bit of movement there, depending on how you use it and how you hold it. Um, do I need it to lock? Maybe, maybe not. 98% of the time, no. I don't know if it will have one or not at this point. But I really like, I like playing with it without a lock, i tell you that. But I mean, you look at the Orthrus, which is a two-position yeah. knife, yeah. and this could be that kind of a system. Yes, it, it potentially could. It potentially could. I mean, I know that the, I know that the engineers can do whatever they want to do so 
but it just has a lot of cool factor and really interesting. Yes, absolutely. Wow. Okay. That's, it's a fun one. So that's that. That's our that's our Wii stuff. We do have we've got more Civivi as well if you want to keep going. Sure, why not? All right, let's do go. Do you have any Civivi left on the table? Well, I, I held off our prototypes, so I've got all I still got all of our new stuff. Okay. We've got a Kayla Cummings design here. That's a, a first for us. Uh, just a little guy. Um, kind of locks your finger in real nice, I noticed, in that little little finger groove there. Um, most of the stuff that we've been doing is uh, Nitro V um, and 14C28N blade steels. We went back to D2 on this one. So this has got a map price of about $55. Um, G10 handles, liner lock, typical Civivi features, um, but it's a great little, got a great little action on this little knife. Um, with either a thumb stud or a, a flipper tab. So, great small knife option. I like the re reverse Tonto. It's small, slender, yeah, light, yeah. but yeah. Uh, oh, that action's nice. Yeah, it feels really good. Okay. All right, you're familiar with the Wii Thug? The... We have the Civivi Thug here. Okay. The Wii Thug has a map price, a retail price of around $250. This one's going to hit dealers at about $75. It's a Nitro V blade still with uh, micarta handles. It maintains the same blade grinds as the original Thug in the Wii line. And uh, has a fantastic opening action with that thumb stud, just like the one in uh, the Wii line. It's a, I like this one. It's going to be a oh, huge hit. Yeah. I mean, really. Nice drop. Yeah. And pretty light. Lighter, lighter than the titanium version. Quite a bit lighter than the titanium one. Cool. Now we got the little little poker from Ostapel. Uh, <laughs> you should. You didn't even need to say that. I was gonna go Ostap. Should have. Yeah. Should have let you guess the designer on that one. But look yep. how look how slender and sleek that thing is. This one is just just nice. Is that right and left hand? Yes, it is. Okay, and it's that's inset. What I thought. Okay, okay. And it with an inset pocket clip. Front flipper. Front flipper. Of course, but look at how slender that blade is. Isn't that cool? Wow, that's cool. I like that. This is. I like his stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is a prototype. Don't know when it's going to be out, but I like it. Yeah. It's got a great action. Yeah, super light, super slender, but it's got long enough blade. It's, yep. Yeah. Here we've got a Tough Knives design. Oh, wow. I think that's going to be a real hit for us. Oh, yeah. Ambidextrous thumb studs, liner lock. Like the design. Almost re reminds me of the new blade design for the Synergy. Okay, this yeah. Blade, yep. Almost a little bit. Because you're like getting that, that, a little wow. bit of that, a little bit of that Persian-y style. Yeah. But, I mean, this is... Okay, right and left hand. Kind of a medium sized knife. Yeah. Not real small though. Not not but, real small, but not big. Yeah. But yeah, nice action. Feels good. That's cool. Yeah. It's a good one. Like I said, this one, this is new art our, I believe it's our first first design with tough knives. Um, and this is gonna be a good one. Yeah? Great, great design. Oh I'm sure it will be. You remember the Kiwi? Yes. That little guy from Ostep. Ostep. <laughs> okay, he's given us the Kiwi Plus, um, which maintains the exact same shape as the um, that little one. Okay, the difference is obviously it's bigger, but, yeah, it, but it has it that is. same Kiridashi style oh, blade. God. Yeah, the, the originals tiny. Yeah, it's yeah, tiny. exactly. Yeah, it's like the size of a, yeah. a big grape. Um, but this one's a liner lock. The other one was a double detent. Yes. So uh, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit more usable blade, and so and it makes sense to have a lock on it. And that other that other little guy is just kind of a little Amazon box opener. Yeah, but, but I liked it. I did too. Yeah. Yeah. And I really like the layered um, carbon fiber G10 
the way that carbon fiber like disappears into the G10 is really cool. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Cool. All right, what else have I got here? There's another one of those KV Pluses. Um, I've got a new in-house design right here called the Citos. This is a, a new um, micarta that we've started to use, which I really like. It's a coarse kind of burlap micarta. This will be available in a, a few different colors, including a couple different micartas. I think there will be a carbon fiber version and then a wood version. That's a steel frame lock. Steel frame lock, you're right. So we did the Knox, that little guy, the Knox. It was our first frame lock in Civivi. And then we did the one called the Perf. Um, now we've got this one, which is a bigger than both of those other knives. This is a this is a good full four finger grip knife. And uh, this this blade, I, I'm really digging this blade that we've been using with these these little thin folders in the top. Um, you know what I like about this one though? It's black on both sides. I'm not real big when they do two different looks like that. It's like two different knives in but one. The fact they, yeah, they carried this over yeah. to where it's it's pretty seamless. Even yeah. though it's not a liner lock, it still feels that. Yeah. Like the seamless, because it's black on both sides. But really, the design is great. Yes. I, I like this design. It's a good design. It feels really good in the hand. And I've got, I'll just show you, I think we have a couple other versions. Uh, this one's the same. There's a brown, brown micarta. Yeah. And I think there's a green one as well. I like it. I like it, but I'd like that in a liner lock with my car on both sides. That would look really nice. Like that would be a great knife. It'd be uh, we'll probably too. see one within the next six months. I don't know. <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to see that that way. Yeah. yeah, that's a good knife. All right. That's it. I think that's all we got that's brand new. Is that all? That's all. You guys have been slacking. <laughs> I know, and look at our table. Oh, my we, God. Uh, just like, what are you gonna do tomorrow? I don't, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna upsell to the Wee Line, I guess. I guess. <laughs> hey, Tony, how you doing? What's going on, buddy? <laughs> how are you? <laughs> He's working, working hard. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Seth. I appreciate it. Good to see you as always, Lee. Thank you.